Wow, there's a lot of jiggers. Today, I am going to be judging the jigging contest with my friend Ray and a lady named Bernadette. <laughs> so how many contestants do we have, actually? I got nine here. So that's 13 contestants total? So I've been judging for a couple years now. It's a lot of fun. Turn in. Got good timing. Jig is a Métis style dancing that originated back in the day. It would be when the settlers were sitting around with their horse and buggies, and at night they would jig. Judges, come on up, get some jigging down. <laughs> Let's go jig. Let's go. I jig the Métis style. Raymond jigs the Dene style, so they're two very distinct jigging. And I think we hold our own in our own right. My name is Massey Whiteknife. <laughs> My name is also Isis Rain. I'm a two-spirited entrepreneur working in Canada's oil sands. Living large and taking charge in Northern Alberta. I am the queen of the oil patch. Oh my god. <laughs> Today I am meeting my friend Amanda Bean. We're gonna go shopping for some executive style clothing for Isis Rain. So you're looking for business casual? Well, I mean, all this clothes is new to me because I'm usually dressing like a hoe. Yeah. <laughs> so you can't dress like a hooker. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can help Massey because I know the struggles of just being a woman in business. <gasps> Look at this. I knew you were gonna spot that. I just knew it. My vision is to buy some clothes that are a lot more presentable for the boardroom, but still have a little bit of sexiness. Uh, yeah, we're just kind of looking for clothes for me, so corporate sexy. I brought my bra. So I'm a 30, 38 double D. Okay. Like I'm a female and a male and two-spirited. Okay. How did you pick what size of, like, boobs to get? I went to try and bras on, and they helped me. Oh. Yeah. I'm looking for a top. <laughs> <laughs> you know what a top means, right? No. You don't know what a top means? You know, top and bottom? When you have sex, you know? Oh, my a, a God. A bottom is, you know, the, the catcher, and the top is the giver. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it would have been funny with somebody who knew what it meant. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should try some stuff on. I brought my padding as well, because I have absolutely no ass right now. So a big stereotype is that First Nations women were gifted with, like, bannock asses, which is like a flat ass. So for me, I just beat it with padding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at your little bum. Have you ever tried on pants like no, that? No, <laughs> never. Look at my vajayjay, my moose knuckle. <laughs> You know, if I am wearing a tighter pants, I can just wear something like this to hide my privates. Yeah. And then I don't have to worry about people looking down all the time. Oh, look at this dress. <laughs> 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 this could be like my dream dress to lose weight. <sighs> I like to have it like this, because then you show a little bit of the boot, but then you're also not giving it away. I'm like, I'll go on a date, but I'm not putting up. <laughs> yeah, I like it. You're starting to look really comfortable in the clothes, too. Ooh, look at this little number. I feel like a girl that, like, sits at a library and, like, reads books. <gasps> what a workout. Massey's in a bit of a transition. He has Isis Rain, which he's exploring transitioning into full time. And I think he's trying to figure out if it will still be viable for his business Isis safety. Body. Like, what is your plan? Are you going to start going to business meetings as I yeah. Rain? I want people to take her serious. 
So I want to look the part and act the part. Would you still, like, be two-spirited? Yeah, I would be like a two-spirited female. I'm trying to figure out what makes me happy. I know that I'm a gay male, but deep down inside, I feel like I'm a woman. The thing, though, is, is that I don't want to be fully transsexual. I don't want to get a sex change, but I want to get, like, breasts and, you know, change my body and, like, be a female full-time. So when, with Isis Rain, If I wanted to become her, I have to also learn about what it is to be a woman and not be so over the top. Like, you know, dressing more conservative, like, you know, I can't wear, you know, big thigh-high boots to go to Safeway. Yeah. Wow. See, this is Isis wow. corporate. You could just go to the office like that? Yeah. Well, and also, I think people would take you a heck of a lot more serious if you were dressed like this. Totally. Yeah, you're dressed cool. for success. You did really good today. I know. This is like a That's whole new wardrobe. Thank you. Take care, sweetie. Okay, well now it's time for me to show you what Isis would normally wear. <laughs> <laughs> I usually wear like corsets. I've never worn one before. So this one is going to take your waist in four to six inches. Oh my god. Yep. So here we go. Oh, that's so Doesn't neat. Doesn't that look amazing? I like it. Can you breathe in it? Only halfway. Really? <laughs> Let's try oh. some shoes on. OK, try the tallest ones you've got. Wow. Oh, these are comfy, actually. They're so nice. Oh, Massey, I look like Robin Hood. I look like Batman. <laughs> oh, my god. You look amazing. I feel like I need a bow and arrow. I can just shoot you. Yeah. <laughs> Work it, own it. <laughs> What I love is the fact that I can bring her to a store like this and give her a taste of Isis's lifestyle. Do you have a ball gag? Uh, we do have a ball gag. <laughs> I don't know how this ended up here. Can you pass me the wand? <laughs> yes, and yes I a, can. Is that a wand or is that a... Um, <laughs> it's quite heavy. Oh. And you know where it goes? Look, hold it. And then if you, it's because this part will be out of you and then you just hit it like that and then it'll vibrate. Wow. I came from a small sheltered town that I grew up with not even knowing a single gay person and it's completely new to me. Have you ever played with nipple clamps? Um, not myself a ton. Oh my just God, is that what those funny. are? Oh, yeah. oh, oh, Actually, this is my bad. I'll get these two. This might be too much for me for one day. <laughs> oh my god. Leather mask, ball gag, and leather cuffs. Now I know what it feels like to be completely out of right? my element. Yeah. <laughs> it's raining. It's not that bad. That was such a fun day. I know. Oh my god. That was like the best. Bought? That was the best part of the day. It was Dressing you up. <laughs> How was your meal? It's good. Adrian and Raymond have been my friends for years, and I really trust their opinion. I'm trying to find out what two spirited means. Any of you guys know? Well, so there's been some controversy with elders. We have a male and a female side within us. Some elders are saying, well, they're just honoring the spirit that they feel most connected to. I heard that too. Yeah. Did you ever hear though that two-spirited people were looked as as gifted? Yep. Yeah. Long time ago, medicine men, they were two-spirited. They would take care of the men before they went hunting. Mm -hmm. And then they would also keep care of the women when the men were gone away hunting. Yeah. And they were spiritual as well and stuff. Yeah. So that's where I got the understanding of two-spirited was, you know, embracing your masculine side and your feminine side. Yeah. So I wonder if that's a First Nation thing, like if that's a, if that's like, you know, say blood versus Cree and Dene and Blackfoot. Do some Aboriginal First Nation groups think of it differently? Different tribes, different teachings. Yeah. 
It's nice to have friends that I could talk to you about being two-spirited. They're awesome. I'm on this journey asking other people about what their opinion is on being two-spirited. It's important for me to connect to my culture. So I am visiting a two-spirited elder named Ed. Hi. Yeah, hi. Welcome. Nice to meet you. I want to introduce to you my partner, Lloyd Gucci. Nice to meet you. Before we start, you have to hold my hand. Good. Thank you. I'm just kind of on a journey to, you know, find myself and find happiness and to learn more about two-spirited people. Right. Do you think that there's a difference between being homosexual and being two-spirited? They're one and the same. The Ojibwe people had the term before contact, eh? A two-spirit person has the spirit of both the man and the woman. They thought that the Creator placed them among them as a gift. They were considered divine. Oh, wow. Yes. I have two spirits. I have my male spirit and I have my female spirit, and I can change back and forth into which one I feel, exactly, you know, yeah. wants to present themselves. I've been two-spirited myself all my life. When I grew up, homosexuality wasn't uh, discussed at all in our community. I was uh, born this way. We are all born this way. Yeah. We've been together for 10 years. Oh, wonderful. Yes, and we're very uh, comfortable about uh, being two-spirited. Everybody accepts us as a couple. And so 10 years, so that's what, 60 years in gay years? <laughs> yeah, about that. Well, you know. <laughs> Thank you so much. This has been a treat. It's so good to get that, you know, that validation from an elder that I'm not on the wrong path. And I'm not alone, yeah. Well, anytime you're in the city, hey, drop in. Great, I'll yeah. bring my blanket and I'll sleep on the couch. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it's really good, actually eye-opening to know that I'm like not alone and it's an honor to, to be able to get that knowledge from an elder. So today I'm at the Hammerstone site. They've been one of ICE's safety clients for many years, and I just like to come and see that they're satisfied and if there's anything I can do to better the service. All right, buckle up and we'll be ready for our tour. We have a great partnership with Massey. He's done a lot of work for us with safety supplies and safety training. It's just a really good thing. It's a good service. <laughs> 130 van, coming down into the pit. This is our main ramp, haul material up to the crusher. Mm -hmm. Now we're approximately 40 meters down. But those layers are natural, right? Yep. Copy chain, 292. Go ahead. I'm gonna pass you on your right side. No, buddy, go ahead. Thank you. How does a big operation like this do their sales? Like, is there a person that goes around with samples to show the buyers? I don't think they take them in Tupperware containers. <laughs> <laughs> just a suitcase full of tougher. <laughs> Over the next year, I plan to bring Isis Rain into my company to do some sales. I think the oil sands are totally accepting, but there's also a side of me, though, that is scared as well, and I'm just not there yet. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. It's oh, good to see so you welcome. again. Good to see you, too. <laughs> yeah. See you the next time. Yeah, for sure. I'm meeting with the CEO of the Lubicon Lake Van to pitch him on the Get Ready program. This meeting is crucial for my business. I really need this. Like I'm trying to rebuild my company and rebuild my life. This could be a game changer for me. Nice to meet you, Master. Yes, thank you for having so. me. The first thing I wanted to talk about is the Get Ready program. Mm -hmm. So I created this program to train our First Nations people to get them full-time employment. Based on my experience, I would take a program that was offered by a non-Aboriginal company that gave us some training, and then after it was done, we were like, what do we do? 
Mm -hmm. So right there, there was some disconnect because we got these tickets, but we're still stuck in this you know, yeah. small town. Yeah. So this Get Ready program goes beyond just training. There are 19 accredited courses. When they're finished, they also get a one-year mentorship program. It sounds phenomenal. Yeah. They also get a link to 1,600 companies mm -hmm. that they can call. And all these companies have Aboriginal hiring policies. Sometimes we need that extra support, that extra help. So I'm hoping that there's a, a fit and a need for me and my company here. Well, I love what you're bringing to the table. I've seen so many people go, go through these doors and say, look, I want to do something with my life. Yeah. First Nations, we want to be part of growth and economic development. Yeah. What we're hoping to do is getting our people out there and making sure they have all of the tools um, that I know they need. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the tools you are are covered through your program. And that's what intrigues us with your wealth of experience. This might be the, the cog I'm missing. I'll present this to my board. That's, that's great. This is uh, exciting news. I think it went uh, exceptionally well. The one contract that we're looking at, it's a multi-million dollar contract which would bring me back on top. <laughs> Fingers crossed, we can sign this deal in a couple of weeks. All right, well, thank you so much. I look forward to uh, talking to you. Absolutely. One of the key things we were hoping to see is how we can, how we can fit into the current programs we have with our community members right now. Here's kind of a crazy question. What if ISIS Rain showed up one day? She should be welcome. Right? She's a, power, she's a force to be work, working with, and, and we need that really positive energy all throughout the, uh, well, in a whale sense. Today is a huge day. I'm going to my first business meeting as a woman. For ISIS Rain, this is a big deal. So, we finally get to meet face to face. Yeah, absolutely. I'm meeting with Conroy from the Lubicon Band. So it's a pleasure. First of all, just thank you for meeting with me. Massey still doesn't have a green light for his Get Ready program. But when he and Conroy met earlier, they realized that we have a common interest in women's fashion. Let's see the goods. Absolutely. So here you go. Oh my God. <laughs> These are absolutely amazing. Talk about a confidence booster. We want to manufacture jeans to help the First Nation women that have what we would call a bannock ass, which just means like, you know, that they have a flat ass. But who doesn't, right? I have a bannock ass and, you know, I have to use padding. <laughs> yeah. These jeans fit a person to make their derriere look a little bit more uh, welcoming. They conform to your body and they're flexible. And my biggest thing that I like is if I have a fabulous ass, I have more self-esteem. Yeah. I feel a little bit more powerful. I feel a little more gutsy and stuff. This is unbelievable, right? Yeah. You know, I mean, we can't change the world, but it's going to make a lot of people happy. Basically, we're just trying to shed some light to the issue of, of that low self-esteem. It could be affordable, comfort, stylish, and it builds confidence. Yeah. You're not only getting a gene that's going to build your self-esteem and make you look amazing, but it's also contributing to society. And that's what we're, we're hoping to do here. Yeah. And we are going to do. And we are going to do. <laughs> Isis can bring something that I won't be able to bring. You know, she's, she's a two-spirited person. She has that energy. See, she has that feminine aspect that I don't have. And if we can make them apply for a job and have a fabulous ass and they get the job, Why damn. <laughs> yeah, Nikki, yo, look at that, right? <laughs> yeah. I just felt like it was just a natural fit. I think that this is going to be absolutely huge, yep. unbelievable. I'm gonna grease them up so you look shiny, <laughs> like Did glitter, you know this? <laughs> like a princess. <laughs> One day you'll see them like a princess. <laughs> My first official business meeting as ISIS Rain went absolutely fantastic. 
So I'm gonna be refreshing a tattoo with Adrian. This was my very first tattoo and the outline and the colors fading. So for me, I think that like getting this tattoo, it's it's like starting starting a new beginning. Don't move. Wait! I'm hoping Adrian like specializes in not a lot of pain because the couple of tattoos I got were pretty painful. <laughs> you got oh! this, you got this, you got this. Oh, I met that elder. Oh, what do you think of him? He was really good. He yeah, gave me yeah. a lot of information. I was surprised at how, the amount of stuff he had on like being too spirited. For real? Yeah. It's so good to get that validation that I'm not on the wrong path. Nice. Yeah. Doesn't that look sick? Right? Looks fresh again. Yeah. Looks so good. Do my eyebrows too. I could. <laughs> I did my mom's. Yeah? Awesome. What do you think, Courage? Hi, hi. Just like your life, right? It used to be small, now it's. Yeah. Ah, I'm here. <laughs> I've arrived. <laughs> right on, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I love these hats. It's so small. What do you think? Oh my gosh. <laughs> But it looks so good on her, like, jeez. She doesn't move. <laughs>